Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you are all well, having a lovely day, whatever you are up to. Probably still not that much at the moment. But today I thought I would film a video that I have wanted to film for a while but I just never really got around to it and I wasn't sure whether like it was still a thing. Um, obviously you can tell by the title of this video it's going to be like an assumptions, questions type thing. So I've seen a lot of videos go around where people are just reading out assumptions about them that they've been sent in and then there was Byron's quickfire assumptions where you just answer as many as you can within 10 minutes I think uncut. Um, I don't have too many so I'm literally just going to kind of sit and scroll through the ones that I did receive um, and I think there's a couple of questions thrown in there as well that aren't assumptions so I'm just going to go through what I've got. Yeah so just like a chilled sit down chatty video so grab a snack, grab a drink, I don't know how long this is going to be. Before we jump in please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, a lot of people that watch my videos aren't. Um, and that's kind of sad. So yeah, make sure you go and hit the red subscribe button. What was this? And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy. Yeah, if you do want to know a little bit more about me and if there's any tea, then just keep watching. I did get some of these questions over on Instagram on the response box things. If you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you do. But the first one is, I assume you get loads of male attention because you're so beaut. <laughs> this is from a girl that actually I follow on Instagram as well, which I thought was quite cute. Um, thank you, first of all. <laughs> I wouldn't say I get loads of male attention. Um, obviously, like, I don't have a massive following, um, but because I do post a lot of, like, underwear or bikini photos on Instagram I do get those kind of very strange guys on Instagram who reply to all of my stories with love heart eyes um comment on every photo and it's, it's nothing you know it's not bad but it's just like constantly and I'm not gonna reply I'm just kind of letting it Go there so I get a lot of like really random DMs and comments on my photos and then I do get the odd person who like I actually know from the area that I live in there's some random guys that will just like pop up in my DMs either like reply into my story um, which is a typical move or uh, I don't know just trying to start a conversation and I know it sounds harsh but a lot of the time I will just delete the message because I'm not interested in a conversation. That moves on to the next one, which is, are you and your boyfriend still together? Yes, we are. Which is why I'm not gonna entertain random conversations from people that I'm not interested in. <laughs> Someone has said, your body count is over five. No, it is not, it is under five. Next one is, you want plastic surgery. Um. I don't think so. I've considered getting my boobs done um, in the past. To be fair, they look bigger than they are because this sports bra crop top has like padding in it and it makes them look better. Um, but I'm like a 32B slash C. Um, and I always used to think like, oh my God, my boobs are so small. Like I want a boob job. Um, and two of my aunties have had boob jobs just because they were really small chested I think compared to their frame and now they look great and obviously with social media and like influencers and other girls that you just see online a lot of people are getting like boob jobs, bum lifts, liposuction, these kind of things and as much as I think I considered it I'm really really scared of surgery so no although I thought about it in the past I don't think I would get any plastic surgery like I don't particularly want to change anything um else about me i guess so this is a question someone said what brand would you never work with oh um i've been lucky enough recently to start working with some more bigger brands so obviously not necessarily like in a paid way but just like gifted collaborations at the moment i do still have like a, a smaller following so i'm not gonna be like right you know give me a thousand pound 
I wish. I think I was quite naive when I started getting into like Instagram because even though I've had a YouTube channel for a long time, the videos I was creating before it was like really a thing and I was really young were like lip sync music videos and then I kind of got into like makeup videos. But yeah, when I was younger, when I kind of, when I first started to post more on Instagram and I was more aware of how it could be a business a few years ago, I worked with a brand called Skinny Coffee Club um, and I promoted them like on Instagram, took a photo, I had a discount code and I did try it, it was like a, a hot chocolate and like this coffee and it was, I'm guessing it had, like I just didn't research enough into it, I looked at the brand, I thought these look cool, I want to try it out, didn't mind the product but obviously I didn't really see any results but I was still promoting it, that's something that I would never do now because I don't really want to promote any kind of like weight loss, like skinny teas or coffees or things like that. Um, maybe like more juice or like a, a plan type thing I'd consider, but things that are promoted in that way is like skinny this, skinny that, and you think that you're going to get these results just from drinking something and nothing else. It's just unrealistic. So I, I wouldn't work with a brand like that again. Like I said, I was just young and I was like, ooh, someone wants to send me something free. I don't know what brand other, like, a, there's no specific brand that I wouldn't work with, I don't think. There's obviously going to be some brands that just don't suit my content or, for example, I'm not calling anyone out or anything like that, but I've received a few emails from the brand Hype, uh, like, they were a massive thing when I was in schools, you know, a good like five, six years ago. Everyone had the like starry hype jumpers and the hype snapbacks and all like, the hype bags. And they were a big trend. So obviously they are quite a big brand and they reached out to me, but it's just not me. Like I'm not gonna accept just to be sent something for free if I'm not gonna like the product. I'm not gonna wear it. It's not my vibe. Um, so I do turn down things like that or websites that just look really really cheap and just not something I would wear. I'm not going to do that just for the sake of getting something for free. Someone else said, you hate your job. Oh, um, no, I don't hate my job. Um, I'm sure a few of you who kind of like follow me um, on Instagram and you've maybe subscribed for a little while and watched my vlogs know that I work for Benefit Cosmetics at the moment as a counter manager. And I really enjoy the job, I really like the brand, but because it's still in retail and it's decent money as my first full time job because I used to work part time while I was in uni, um, it's not like end goal job, it's not where I want to stay, I just had a really good opportunity with this, it's really convenient because it's close to home. Apart from wanting to do YouTube and like social media and stuff. I really like the aspect of just being a content creator either like for a company or another brand or like a social media assistant, social media manager, kind of marketing, PR, influencer outreach. Because I've been on the other end of people reaching out to me that way, I know how it works and even though I'm not necessarily like qualified or I don't have a degree in that, I do have a degree in media production. So obviously I know how to use equipment. I'm pretty good like with IT skills and all of that kind of stuff. So that is more the jobs that I want to go towards. But because I live in South Wales, it's just not a lot here that interests me. There's no job openings that um, would tempt me. Like I don't want to go and work for an insurance firm. I don't want to work for like a lawyer thing, I don't know, or the Welsh water, do you know what I mean? I want to work either for myself or for like a fashion, lifestyle, beauty type company that I can relate to and help produce content for. And then someone else asked, you want to do YouTube full time? I would absolutely love that. Um, it's just one of those things, I think, that things will happen when they're supposed to. Everything happens for a reason. I am trying to post a little bit more and put a bit more of myself online and just research a little bit more into it because I've been quite 
what's the word i've just kind of like floated around for a little while posted like a video nearly every week for quite a long time um and i do have those weeks where maybe i've got an idea or i've been really motivated and i put two videos out a week obviously my subscriber count slowly grows and i do have my haul videos that do tend to do a lot better than my others and i don't know i feel like because i haven't really jumped on the trends as much i don't know whether i'm doing something wrong i feel like maybe i need to research into like the type of content that is going to get more exposure but at the same time this is just like it's, it's a, always been a hobby for me and luckily i've just been able to start monetizing my content as and when so i'm not like pushing it but it is a dream to kind of just be able to do that someone asked what keeps you up at night which i think is a very odd question um i don't know whether it was just like a generic thing um not sure who this person is but i'm gonna answer it um i do struggle to sleep like straight away i take ages to fall asleep mostly because i am like on my phone quite late and i'm either watching things on my ipad or scrolling through tiktok my mind is very very odd in the sense that if i've maybe earlier that day come across something that's a bit of a, like a creepy photo or I've watched a scary video or I've seen an advert for a scary film, my brain will then start thinking about that and when I close my eyes I'll like see a scary face and obviously then I'm led in the dark so I'm constantly shining my phone around my room um, just checking that no one's here which is so stupid um, and a lot of people I think have the same thing where obviously I have a lot of like dressing gowns and jumpers on the back of my door in the night with shadows and stuff your brain just likes to play tricks on you and you think maybe you see a person or it looks a little bit odd and you're like oh my god there's something there there's not um i just hate the fact my brain does that so things like that keep me up quite a lot i can't just easily fall asleep and another thing that i'm sure a lot of people can relate to is when you go to bed and you randomly and then think of an idea for something or something that you want to do in the morning i get random bursts of energy in the evenings when i'm thinking about this i'm like i need to do it now like if i'm thinking about a photo or like a video idea or something i want to research into i'm like right yeah okay i'll, I'll do that tomorrow I'm like no no i need to look now like i'll put my phone down but then 10 minutes later i'm thinking about something and i want to look so i pick my phone back up and then it just keeps me awake for even longer so a lot of things keep me up. Someone said, you've had filler slash plastic surgery. Um, I've not had any plastic surgery and the only filler I've had is lip filler. That was probably, I think, October or September last year. I had half a mil after I'd had half a mil. So I've only ever had a total of one mil put in my lips. But I think it's like nearly all gone. So I am looking to get a little bit more when lockdown is over. I went to a girl called Jess, so... I might message her because I know she's got like a long waiting list for when she opens back up. Someone said fitness goals. <laughs> I've briefly mentioned this in the past and if you watched my last video I did the Chloe Ting workout ab thing in that vlog and that's something that I'm gonna try and keep up with a little bit just because the videos that I've seen of other people doing it they've had really really good results I'm gonna try a few other videos I've also tried yoga with Adrienne, Adrienne. Um, she's got a YouTube channel and it was just kind of more chilled, stretching, flexibility type stuff to do with yoga. I was doing couch to 5k but I didn't get past week one, I did that a couple of times but I am just awful at running and I have no stamina, I'm not very good with my strength so I do need to work on a lot, like I just really need to tone up. Um, and just get my fitness level up i just need to find a way that works for me and actually keep myself motivated because i will just give up if i can't be bothered and then it takes me a while to get back into it so what is the most popular brand that has reached out to work with you um i'd probably say either pretty little thing or boohoo i'm trying to think if there's been any other brand that's bigger than them I mean, there's quite a few brands, but I, I'd probably say Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo are like the bigger brands that have reached out and wanted to collab. 
Someone asked, you earn loads doing YouTube? Um, no, I actually don't. Um, I'm still learning on how it all works. I've been able to monetize my videos for quite a while. I think it's still the same. You need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, I wanna say, in like however long the span is. Um, so obviously if you're over that, then you can monetize your videos, you can put ads on your videos, and then that's where you earn your money on Google AdSense. A lot of my videos don't get that many views. Obviously if it's only got a couple of hundred, I'm not gonna earn a lot. And I've noticed that when I'm kind of, I don't know, sending a new video in my group chat for my friends to go and watch or like and support it, then they'll tell me like, oh, I didn't receive any ads in this or blah, blah, blah. So I know that adverts don't come up all the time, um, but obviously when they do, the longer that you watch them all through, it helps me out and it just gives me like a tiny bit of money. I think it is literally pence per like view. Um, it's not a lot, but for those who get, you know, thousands and thousands or millions of views, it does add up. And then the more content that you put out, the more videos that have the more views, the more money you get. So mine really doesn't earn a lot. I wish it earned more. Um, and I'm hoping that as my channel grows, that I'll understand it a little bit better because I really don't understand the Google AdSense website. And I just tend to look at my analytics for YouTube on the YouTube studio. Um, but I'm still trying to wrap my head around it just because, I don't know, it's not been a, really a business for me. Uh, so I don't need a lot at all. What are your favorite brands to work with? Who else do you want to work with? Um, obviously, like I said, Pretty Little Thing, and Boohoo are like the bigger, like the biggest kind of fashion brands I've worked with so far and I've really enjoyed working with them on Instagram and doing hauls and you guys seem to absolutely love it. They get quite a lot of views and I get a lot of feedback saying you want more. I love working with Boo Avenue and there's another underwear company called Paul Moi which I really like working with. I think they are a great company. I feel like I'd want to work with more brands kind of outside of fashion as well. Um, there's a couple of brands that have like I've been sent certain things like in my last video as well I mentioned the razor from Hey Istrid and I really really like that obviously I'm not getting paid for much stuff that I put out it is more just kind of in exchange for I would love to work with like a like electronic or technology type company because I'm really into um, like my devices and electronic thing. I also want to work with maybe more makeup brands because I do a lot of fashion stuff which I really really enjoy and even though I'm not specifically a makeup artist I do really enjoy beauty and makeup and hair stuff as well. I've worked with brands like Mark Hill Um, they've sent me some really cool bits which actually I forgot to say. Yeah there's a lot of brands that I can't just like list them all off but fingers crossed one day. Someone else said you're insecure um, I wouldn't say I'm insecure. I'd say I'm quite a confident person. There are days where I can feel quite insecure, like if I'm really, really bloated or maybe I feel like I've gained a little bit of weight. I think it's just very natural to feel a little bit insecure and like you don't want to just get your whole body out. So on those days, I tend to wear something a little bit more comfortable, something that flatters the way I feel a little bit more. I think most people who know me would say I'm quite a confident person, don't really care what others think, I'm quite thick skinned. Yeah, I'm just trying to love myself and even though when I do post um, like bikini or underwear photos on Instagram for like promotions with Boo Avenue, etc., I am breathing in. I'm at a certain angle, I put a filter on it, I smooth my skin. So even though I do those things that most people do also, I do then talk about like, I don't always look like that. I'm looking like that right now because it's either the morning where I haven't eaten anything yet or I'm feeling like a skinny queen that day and I'm ready to take a photo. You know, I've smoothed my skin out a little bit. I do have stretch marks on my bum and my thighs. Um, I do get bloated and I do get a little belly pouch sometimes. I'm not always flat stomached. But I do talk about the fact that like, 
I'm looking at that just because I'm stood at a certain angle, I'm breathing in, I've got a tan filter on, I've smoothed my skin. That's not all realistic. Like, Instagram is just a highlight of the best parts and the best photos. I think that brings us to the end of this video. I can't find any more that I want to answer. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I quite enjoyed answering some of those assumptions. Let me know if you enjoyed it as well. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments whether you'd like me to do something like this again. And please make sure you are subscribed to my channel before you leave. There'll be some more videos on my end card if you are interested in watching any more of my content. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye!